This is Cigar Talk with Aaron Dean. I'm Aaron. And I'm Dean. Dean, tell us where we are today. Where are we? So, this first episode, we figured we'd film at the top of Everest. We're at the Tobacconists of Greenwich. That's like one of the top cigar stores in the United States, Aaron. Oh, this place is the pinnacle. Unbelievable. What a selection, too. I mean, uh, anyone that knows uh, cigars knows David Off. Like, you know, we figured we'd start and set the bar real high on this show. What are we smoking today, Dean? What do you got? So I have something very special. I have this Churchill limited edition 2021. It's a Toro cigar by Davidoff, and it's amazing. I mean, I think they only made like 11,000 boxes of this cigar. That's so cool. Is that his I mean, picture on the thing? Yeah. Look at Churchill's likeness on there. I mean, you know, I started smoking cigars, and and and... I didn't realize till years later that I was smoking Churchill's and they were actually named after this character. So that's pretty amazing. That's really cool. I'm smoking a cigar right now. It's a limited edition cigar. Comes in a Toro format. Represents the perfect combination between Winston Churchill, the original collection, and the late hour. The cigar is a multi-origin blend with tobaccos from Ecuador, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, not Cuba, offering a minimum of full body taste and experience. The complex flavors of earth, cream, nuts, and chant every aficionado. The Davidoff Winston Churchill limited edition cigar is limited to 11,100 boxes worldwide. So if you want one, right here, tobaccosofgreenwich.com. What are you kidding me? That's that's a mob cigar you got there. Oh, that's big man, league. I'm so excited. This is a grand crew from Davidoff. And this is Dominican uh, tobaccos. And it's like a mild to medium and it's an Ecuador, Connecticut wrapper. It's part of their core line, and uh, I'm pretty excited to cut this up and uh, smoke it today. Yeah, man. So, like any good cigar, we'll start off with the basics, like uh, like Cigar 101. You know, take the cigar. I typically, everyone's got a different way of doing it. You yeah. Know, I, like, I, some guys punch it, some guys stab it, some guys lick it, some guys don't. I, I try to get my money's worth, so I lick it, kiss it. I do everything <laughs> I can first. And then you just take a cutter, man, and, you know, you cut off, you know, like the crown. You know, I just cut off like the crown, the tip. I mean, I don't know about you. Oh, yes. Is that what you think? I don't lick it or anything. I don't kiss it or anything like that. It. I go right to the cut and you I do you it. Don't, you don't love it? I, you know, if I, mean, I don't love your cigar. If I, I don't have a cutter, I'll just bite the tip off. Oh, if I had a dollar for every cigar tip I bit, I'd be uh, a zillionaire. Yeah. And uh, I always like to pre light. I like to go, I, I give it a nice round. Yeah. Is that for show or is that like no, legit? No, it's for legit. And then you just do a couple of puffs. Wow. And I'm in. Yeah, I get very jealous when I see someone like this. Oh, oh Especially when they do it like you did with the thing out here. A lot of cigars, cigars, when you do that, you take those first couple of puffs, they're not that good. But I'll tell you, this one, it's like brown sugar. Oh, this is... Listen, this is like the New York Yankees. It's the top of the heap. So what we're thinking is every week we're going to have an array of subjects we're going to talk about, whether it's going to be acting, whether it's going to be the music industry, it's going to, of course, always be cigars, but, and we're going to field questions. We got a couple emails today we'll get to a little bit later, but um, we need to tell you about us first. Aaron, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Listen, my name is Aaron. Uh, I'm 49 years old. Wow. Family comes first. Is that all? Hey, listen, I feel like I'm over the hill already. Well, I'm blessed and lucky enough to be in the music industry. Uh, somehow, I always played instruments in my life and wrote songs and produced and blessed to make a living from it. Uh, I got a family. I got two little girls and a wife. They're all amazing. And my other passion besides music is uh, smoking oh, cigars. Yeah, man. Good stuff. How about you, Dean? Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm an actor, um, father, husband, the whole shebang doing this my whole life, been doing this since I'm a kid. Um, got a lot of hobbies, a lot of passions, a lot of interests. Certainly will get to know me and Aaron a lot better in episodes to come. But in the meantime, um, we want to each tell you a story today about something that kind of inspired us and um, to smoke. Um, Aaron, you told me a great story the other day 
Um, that's amazing, yeah, actually. That, that was my first cigar. But, right? but it's amazing how it tied in both your worlds. Like, I know. You know, and I mean, tell, tell, tell them about it. So, I don't know, back in the 2000s, uh, I got an opportunity to go down to Orlando, Florida and be an in-house record producer for this guy named Lou Perlman. And he did like the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Britney Spears. I mean, he really was the pop god. Uh, unfortunately, his path definitely changed later on. He ended up doing jail time and like had a whole Ponzi scheme. Doesn't make him a bad guy. Oh, Ponzi scheme, that's rough. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was rough. rough. Um but while I was down there, after one of the recording sessions, Lou Perlman was like, hey, why don't you come with me to the cigar bar? I'm like, cigar bar? Where are we going? What is a cigar bar? And he takes me to this place uh, in Orlando, Florida called Corona Cigar Bar. And my first cigar, he's like, he says, let me pick one out for you. He picked me out a Zeno Platinum. Wow. And that, that set was the my, bar high. That was my first smoke. And I was sitting in a chair like this. Like when you go to cigar bars, the chairs are always like super comfortable. You kind of always sink in. I cut it. I didn't know what I was doing. I lit it. I didn't inhale. I at least knew that much not to inhale a cigar. Just kind of like take your time. And I don't know, first three puffs. And I'm looking at the atmosphere. It was like I'm relaxing. I'm smoking this thing. I'm with among friends. We're having good conversation. I think I went back every day. It kind of it kind of fosters conversation, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You start to chit chat and tell stories. And cigar talk. Team. Cigar, cigar talk. talk. Got it. That was a great idea. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. And you know what's amazing about that story to anyone that was paying attention is um, he smoked a Zeno Platinum. For any of you that know cigars, Zeno was Zeno Davidoff. There oh, that was it. I didn't even know that. That was his name? That was his name. That's the guy. Zeno was yeah, his first name? That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Wow. Yeah. And that was his... Uh, Pretty coincidental. What a good yeah. cigar, too. I have to say that one is like a nice, good first cigar, like good smooth, oh it's my light. God. It'll it's probably ruin you. Set the that's bar too high. That's a big league cigar. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Yeah. How about you, Dean? What was your first cigar? You know, it wasn't as um wasn't as like uh, uh momentous as yours. Uh my dad's a cigar smoker. Been since I'm born. Always had a cigar, always smoked cigars. And um, you know, I kind of tried them when I was like 17. And, you know, he used to smoke, he had a very discriminating taste. He smoked really good cigars. However, you got to realize it was only like five different kinds of cigars. I know. <laughs> there wasn't, now there's really like, change, look at this place. Right? I mean, there's a hundred different kinds. You know, it wasn't that way. You know, um, the cigar industry was limited. I mean, there was like White Owl, Tiamo, and those. And then there was like good cigars. Yeah. And, um, you know, started then. I don't actually remember. Like, you remember your actual first time? I don't. I mean, we solve the world problems when we're together, you and Absolutely. I. Absolutely. You know, we figure everything out about our finances. We talk about everything, the industry, the music. And acting. Dean's been a father and a house owner a little bit longer than me. So when my AC breaks, I'm calling Dean. When my heat breaks, I'm calling Dean. When my gutters get clogged and I don't know what to do, I'm calling Dean. Yeah, Dean's not doing it, but Dean knows <laughs> I know how to do it. <laughs> or he knows who to call. And I got a guy. He got, always got a guy. I always got a guy. <laughs> I mean, always got, you know. No so... What's really cool about this is we put out an email. It's probably on the screen. Is it yep. right? Where is it? Is it like right across my belly? Hope you hide my, my stomach a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'll cover that with Good. That. Thank you. So, you know, with that email right there, send in your questions. Ask us anything. I mean, as long as it's not like perverted and stupid. It's cigar talk, Aaron and Dean at gmail.com. Right. And we'll answer it. I mean, I was thrilled we got two. So, our first email, cigar talk, Aaron and Dean at gmail.com. The first one was from John H., and he was from North Lima, Ohio. I'm new to smoking. I went into a cigar store, and I was overwhelmed. Too many different brands and prices. How do I choose a cigar that I'll enjoy at a reasonable price? And he put 5 to 15 bucks. That's respectable. That's not like he's looking at, oh, you know, one to five bucks. He's, 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 Especially if you get into this habit every day, you know, $15 right. a day, you know. Right. Just, and then listen, up. you come here to Tobacco's of Greenwich, Mike will get you a, a cigar for 10 or 15 bucks that'll knock you, you know, oh, one yeah. in the dirt. Um, so that's a great question, John. Um, I'll, I'll help you a little bit with that. So cigars are very personal. Um, you have to try. It's trial and error. Aaron and I differ in our tastes, in our size choices, in everything. The only thing we agree on is that we both appreciate a good cigar and like to smoke. So you have to go out and try them. There's ring gauge. There's like how right. thick that, the cigar is. This one, I believe, is a 40, 
43. It is. See, I don't, I don't, I'm Yours gonna, is a 54, I believe. A 52 said, or 54. So that means how thick it is, the ring gauge. This is a little bit thicker. I happen to like this size in thickness. Aaron likes that size. So, John, you got to try them. Go in and try them. You, you, you're going to enjoy every cigar. Um, my advice would be to start off with a mild to medium first. Don't go right for the for the heavier ones. Yeah. So, it's, John, to answer your question, it's trial and error. You got to try. Um, in that price range, in that window, if you go to a real cigar store, the guy will put you in, in good shape, and you'll get to try them and see what you like. So the story with Ohio, North Lima, Ohio, is I used to do a hunting show. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we filmed many uh, hunting and fishing. We filmed many episodes in the Ohio area. So uh, go Buckeyes. I got a, a little bit of a contingency down there. So that's cool. You know, hopefully they'll follow us. Um, what's the uh, second email? The second email is from Adam G., Westchester County, New York. And this one is for you, Aaron. Oh, great. I know who this guy is. What's your favorite cigar? Now, that's a trick question. But what's your favorite cigar? Go ahead, bud. You know, I, I I don't have a favorite. Like if I, I, you know, when I'm in a cigar shop, I I look for certain things. There's certain brands that I really love. Yeah, uh, I love Davinoff. Well, you know, you're safe with certain brands that yep. you're gonna love it. You know, you know, Patron 1964 Celebration Cigar. Davinoff could be a Celebration Cigar. Yeah. I like small boutique brands like uh, Illusion. Uh, they make a, a, a cigar called Epernia that I that really one like. smoked the other day that yeah. you brought me. Uh, well, that one, yeah, that's from another a brand cloud. called Warped, and it was called uh, the Cloud Hopper. Yeah, it was a good cigar. Yeah, yeah totally. Cigar. So I think what you're trying to say is there's a favorite cigar for different occasions. Yeah, in the moment you're in. Like, I mean, it's the morning, so I went for a really light one. Tell me a criteria that would lead you to pick a cigar. And how long do I have? Right. I mean, and that would is my wife going to text me in like 15 minutes? That would dictate size. Right. So you get a shorter cigar yeah. knowing that it wouldn't last that long. Go and, ahead. Uh, two is the, is it morning, evening, or night? And did I just eat? If I ate, I'm going to do a little heavier cigar and get a little bit more flavor. Interesting. If I didn't eat yet, I'm going to go with the See, I, I usually do that with booze. Like if I didn't eat, I'll go with something. <laughs> and after I'll go with something darker, but... So I but guess time is really the, yeah, yeah it's, it's really, a big it's a big thing I and the, isn't the burn important like I look at this burn like my ash yeah. is still going the ash is nice and tight I'm yeah. having an amazing intake you got nice ash nice oh, hey, easy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah invest in a uh, in a lighter you know a torch lighter you know not a lot of money you don't have to get a uh, I mean you can get a Dupont if you want they sell them here they're beautiful great gift but you can just get a torch lighter anywhere because. You'll get a good burn. You know, you got to light it up real good. Um, so we're going to do this every week. We're going to do like, you know, small 10-minute episodes. We're just going to like talk about random things. Like he said, it could be music. It could be a, a TV show we watched last night. It could be just an email question you guys sent us, and it's, it's, it, it, it's really you, Yeah, like binge watching is big now. Um, you know what's interesting is the two of us have really interesting stories about interactions with people, some celebrities, um, other people, and, and cigars – are a big part of it. Yeah, I and mean, they're, they're a bond. With my music industry job, some, I used to do a lot of traveling. But of course, now we had COVID, and I've been got it kind of on hold. But I would go to Nashville as soon as I'm done in the studio. I would find the nearest cigar bar. And I'd yeah, go. yeah. I um, go to you know this store. Uh, just to talk about a little history of this store. This store has been around since the '70s. I mean, it's really an institution here in Greenwich. It's amazing. In the warm weather, we sit outside on the sidewalk, and like, I mean, stars walk by. Like honestly, I saw. The basketball player on, yeah, on this, the Knicks walked by me. This is a beautiful thing. And said, hey, I wish I had one. He was with his girlfriend, so he couldn't stop. But, like, you know, it's it's accepted part of the community. And that's uncommon in today's world because a lot of people frown on. Well, you've been know, here forever, forever, right? Been here forever. I mean, Bentley. <whistles> Come here, boy. There's a dog in the room. Bentley is the star of Greenwich. Come here, boy. Look at that. He came this, right on cue. He thinks I have a cookie. Look at him. <laughs> he, he, he's a donut away from him. Yeah. But Bentley's a, Bentley's a star in Greenwich. Everyone knows Bentley, the black lab. He uh, He's just the greatest dog. He's our mascot here. Well, for now, the dream is over, Dean. Yeah. Back to reality. Oh, I know. Stay tuned for another compelling episode of Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. And remember our email, guys, cigartalkaaronanddean at gmail.com. Please send in questions, yep. and we'll get back to you. And anytime we shoot on location, especially here, Mike, uh, remember, tobacco of Greenwich, tobacconistofgreenwich.com. Email Mike. Let him know you saw the podcast, and 
buy some cigars. Place is great. Yeah. Peace out, guys.